Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. So um, in this video we're going to talk about the project intersect. Now what you should know that the project intersect fundamentally it's the same as the project tool. Now the only difference uh, there is is that it allows us to project the intersection between the entity and the construction plane. And I'm going to show you now exactly uh, what does that mean? So I've got in this example here this lamp and I would like to create uh, a ring around this uh, lamp which also capture the shape of the lamp. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating an offset plane from the top here all the way somewhere at the middle And that should be enough here. And let's go and create our first projection. So now at this point, uh, we know that we are somewhere here in the middle. In order to see it much more clearly, you can just go under the sketch palette and you can see here we have slice. So I right click on this one and now we can see exactly the intersection. And this is also what we are going to project. So we will go to create and then we choose intersect. So they have the options to intersect the both edges or only one of the edge. And that's the one the, I'm going to choose the outer edge. So you can also see here it's already one edge been selected and for the same you know we can, I could also you know said okay I want to project the body but that's what's going to happen it's going to project the whole outline of the body from that uh, projection from that uh, section okay from that cut so if, even if I'm going to do like that and click OK. So you're going to see for a second if I'm just going to hide the body, it's going to be much more clear to see. So you can see we have projected the whole body, okay, which means basically the all uh, intersection area. Now I don't want that. What I want is just to intersect. this outer edge. So that's what I'm going to do. And I, wanna, I also want to keep the link between uh, the project and the projection and the, 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 the body at the edge. And I'm going to click OK and remove the slice here. So we somehow catched also the other one, but it doesn't matter. If I want, we can also select this one and hit the delete. That's it. We can finish this sketch. Now we can do this one again. So we should know there are several ways we can do what I want to do, but this is just one way of doing it. It's also give us a good chance to see how the intersect project, the project intersect, actually works. So we're gonna do again, create a new sketch here, exactly the same way as before. Create project intersect and I'm going to choose this outer edge here and I click OK. Let's remove the slice and I don't need this one. Great. So as you can see I created two uh, sketches with projection which capture the shape of the um, of the lamp in this area. Now from this point you can do many things. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new sketch on this um, uh, on this plane right here. Let me just bring it up like that and now I'm going to slice it again and it's going to give us a chance to see exactly what is going on here. Now First, what I would like to do is 
project the point of you know this um, of the of the projections that we have created before it's going to be the first one and that's going to be the second one you can see i don't even have to click right here at this point i just can click anywhere on the sketch itself and then it's going to project it second i also would like um to preserve the the shape as you can see here from these two areas i can do that and i can also basically ignore that and if i'm gonna do that what's gonna happen is it's gonna take gonna project the whole section here the whole edge which i can then remove and so on but i'm gonna do it in a different way what i'm gonna do is i'm going to create a um sketch here from here I'm gonna do something like that all the way down and all the way here and I'm gonna finish that sketch just need to make sure that we hit the exact point okay next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create another sketch that goes from here all the way to the bottom now as you can see something is wrong because we should have actually had a profile here so how come we don't have a profile and that's because we projected only the points we didn't project you know also the whole line so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna sketch uh from here to here and from here to here so i just closed it good so now we have our profile and if you want you can choose any kind of profile that you like um, there is one way or if again you're saying okay i really want to have this um you want to have the shape you want the the, the profile of the ring um to have the same shape so what we could do is i'm just gonna go back and we can do again the same projection like that we are going to keep it you're going to see it projected quite a lot but it uh, doesn't matter we can always you know just delete this side here we don't want too many so i now i'm going to go into the offset and we're going to offset depends on the thickness that we want I just say like that it's okay and now we can go and hit this one all the way to the to the end and this one as well and here we go now we have our profile which we can always play with so we can go here and we can trim those areas and voila so now we capture also the shape of the lamp in this area now we can just go and finish this, the sketch so at this point you can always see what we have created and so we can go into our let's say revolve we can use sweep you can use other a uh, kind of uh, tools and in order to sweep it so i need to go to the original sketch the way the one i've used to create the lamp i'm going to use here the center and it says here join but for now i'm just gonna use it as a new body so as you can see just using the project intersect we can create really some really amazing stuff and this is trust me this is just the tip of the iceberg if you have seen the previous videos that i've created about how to create boats and uh, also the airplane and uh, i'm using the project intersect uh, quite a lot and we can really achieve many many things with it it's just about you know really understanding how the how it works and have some a little bit imagination and thinking out of the box out of the box sorry so from this point you know we can just continue to the fillets and from here to over here 
So here we go. Now I've got my rings over here. Okay. And it's very simple, straightforward, not so many uh, complications. And no matter what we're going to do to the shape of the, of the, the lamp, the ring is also going to change with it. Okay. So that's just, this is why it's so powerful, this tool. So this is about the very short about the project intersect. And by the way, we are also using it in connection with sketches that we need to connect to each other. So I'm going to show you also a quick example, what I'm talking about. So let's just say on this plane, I have a curved sketch like that. Now, for some reason, I also want to create sketch that crosses it or somewhere. And I need to create to make sure that they are connected. So that's why we need to go into the project intersect, select it, and then we have the points. OK, we don't need to project everything, which what I have seen many times people actually do. And that's it. Now you can create a sketch and you see connect it to our uh, previous sketch and now you can use it for example in surface modelings you can use it to to do a sweep and whatever because it, they are connected to each other so you don't have to project a, the, the, the whole sketch you can just uh, project a specific point uh, which you can then you can use to create connection to another sketch. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one. And the next video, I'm going to talk about include 3D geometry, which is going to be really interesting. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. If you have any comments or questions, then please write it down in the comments area and I will see you in the next video. Cheers!